It was a collaborative effort to boost safeguards of the online world. The largest global conference on cyberspace came to a successful end in Seoul on this Friday. The participants adopted a so-called Seoul framework, which will serve as a guideline for dealing with cyber-related issues. Er Hwang Sung-hee has the details. Around 1,500 officials and IT experts from some 90 countries adopted the first international agreement on cyber-related issues at the Seoul Conference on Cyberspace 2013 on Friday. The so-called Seoul Framework will serve as a guideline for dealing with issues ranging from cyber crimes and cyber terrorism to the Internet economy. The Seoul framework is significant because it is the first document that outlines the discussions between the international community and that will determine the direction of future discussions. It will be distributed to the UN and OECD to be used as reference documents. Countering cross-border cyber terrorism, which is becoming increasingly common, was a key issue on the agenda. Participants agreed that any country that wages a cyber attack must be held accountable. The Seoul Conference also served as an opportunity for participants to share their greater understanding on the importance of preserving the online community as an open space by protecting the freedom of expression. I think uh, there has been a, a, a growing consensus. It isn't there yet. I don't think any of us would pretend that it is. The more we talk to each other, the more we collaborate, the more we share good practice, the more we understand each other's position, I think the greater the consensus. The annual conference is the third of its kind, with previous meetings being held in London and in Budapest. This year's event not only yielded the largest ever number of participants, it was the first time that developing nations were invited. The participating nations agreed on the need to support developing nations to ensure that all countries benefit from the Internet. The Netherlands has been selected as the next host country for the conference on cyberspace. The next meeting will take place in early 2015, as officials are currently reviewing the possibility of shifting this annual event into a biannual one. Hwang Sang-hee, Arirang News.